Hey there, guys. It's Kubik Blooper, and welcome back to more su some more Super Mario Sunshine. Um, this was meant to have um co-commentators. Originally, Axe of Flame was gonna be in it, and One Up Stories was gonna be in it. But unfortunately, Axe of Flame had to leave, and then um One Up Stories' audio got like screwed up or something, so he couldn't um, be in this. So I had a choice. I recorded this this thing twice. No, wait. I recorded two, three times. No, no, crap. I don't. Yeah, I recorded it twice. So yeah, I recorded it twice. Both times was a fail. So it's like, okay, do I want to? record it one more time or do I want to just post commentate this so I chose to post commentate this uh, so yeah hopefully in the next video I'll have some co-commentators but I'm not quite sure but I really just want to get this video out tonight instead of just waiting for tomorrow because tomorrow I want to co-commentate so yeah alright this is the Manta Storm probably one of the hardest bosses in the game because you gotta, like, spray this guy. And I'll show you what I mean, how hard he is. I mean, this fight took about eight minutes. So I cut a lot of it out. But, trust me, it's annoying. You have to spray this guy with the water. And, um, to make him shrink into smaller, um, people. But, frequently, he will hit you and then knock you into the, the electricity which is why this fight is extremely hard um, what I recommend doing is either going under the huts those huts because they can't go under there or go in the water so you don't run out of water because frequently you'll run out of water oh man see this is what I mean this fight is just annoying ah oh, dang it um, also, the reason why I couldn't use my original co my original commentary for this was because I'd be saying a lot of random things as I was talking to as I was talking to one of stories on Skype. So you didn't want to hear me just going randomly saying yeah, okay. So yeah, <laughs> I just said yeah after I said I wasn't gonna say it. So after you shrink them all into the smallest place, they will come after you. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the fight. That took about seven minutes, so I cut a lot of it out. So I got one more left, and there we go. And yeah, um, also I didn't say though those manta rays they carried the goop with them wherever they went. They like spread goop. So yeah, you gotta watch out for that too. And there we go, Hotel Delfino. And here comes the shine. And there we go. So um, I don't know if necessarily One Up Stories will be in the next commentary because his audio has been been screwing up lately. But I did um co commentate with him on a video. Um, it probably won't be uploaded for a while. Maybe no, it won't be uploaded till the distant future because he's been recording stuff like way ahead of time. I hope he doesn't mind if I say that. I'm not gonna say what he's been recording, but yeah. So I should have Axe of Flame with me in the next video. That's what I'm hoping for. Or if not, at least the Ultra Game 11 will probably be, will probably be with me. So, now this is the secret of Hotel Delfino. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. It's just another mission. Uh, oh, I guess I could say um, this video might be a little bit more full screen than the other ones, but it probably won't be by much. But I really don't know yet until I upload. So there are these pink boos that you want to spray to make it into platforms. And then climb up them. Uh, 
And once you do that, just climb up there and go into that boo's mouth that's like all blue and suctiony looking. And there we go. Now, in that boo's mouth is a humongous secret mission. Well, not a huge secret mission. Uh, but yeah, it's a normal secret mission. And this one can be kind of tricky. Because, um, oh, I got a story to tell. Um, I was, um, I don't know, it was like a month ago, I was like doing this mission just for fun. But I could not beat it. I mean, it took me literally an hour. I just had like the worst of luck trying to beat it. Because here's the thing. On the last platform to get the shine, there is a little Goomba. You know those things that like replace Goombas in this game? Well, it's on the final platform. I ran into it, and it glitched me. It glitched, and it threw me like 10 feet off the stage. I mean, it just like chucked me off the stage. It was like, I was like, and then I yelled, "You have got to be kidding me!" I'll show you what I mean when I get to it. You see that little thing over there by the shine sprite? Yeah, it it like literally flung me off the platform. Luckily, that did not happen this time. And for number 59, we're almost halfway done with this game. Um. Now it's time for Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Because I forgot to do the red coins of that level. That The red coins of this level will be on. Will be after Mysterious Hotel Delfino. I kind of forgot about it. So here we go. Mysterious Hotel Delfino. I remember. I think it was this, mi this mission. I was. When we were little. I was at the Ultra Gamer 11's house a lot. He had Super Mario Sunshine. And I did not get this game until I was like 10. But we were like 5 years old. He could not like figure out how to beat Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Because there were no such things as Let's Plays back then. So yeah, he could not beat Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Well, I think it was Mysterious Hotel Delfino. I think it might have been another mission, but I'm not sure. But it can be hard, I mean, if you have no idea what you're doing. Because you magically go up there, and you have to spray this. So, yeah, I mean, they should have, like, made it, like, this mission not as difficult, because it can be kind of hard. And... And, um... All you gotta do is spray these things to, uh, like, go through the door. And now, here's two more of these pink boos. I don't- it's just me or do boos look, like, really weird in this game. They look, like, extremely weird. I don't know why. Okay, and then just... Well, you don't have to go through there. You don't have to go through there, but... I accidentally did it on the recording. What you gotta do is... Stomp through this thing. Now. And, um, smash through one of these crates. One of them has a... Because what you have to do is you have to get Yoshi for this level. And the only fruit he's ever gonna want is a pineapple, so you have to go through the door. Because they have, like, fruits down there, but they don't have a pineapple. And... He's right over here. And then after that... Go up the stairs. And... Okay, I'll stop doing that. Okay, what you really have to do is come, come up through here. And go up to the attic, which is right up here. Uh, I'm really not looking forward to the blue coins of this level because it... They're not like... They're probably the second hardest in the game to get all these blue coins. With the hardest being the next world. I'm like really, really, really dreading the next world. Um, make sure you go to the right path that I'm taking. That I'm taking. Because you might um, go to the wrong place. 
and then you'll end up like stuck in a room because Yoshi cannot um, go through a door and you'll have to do the whole thing over again. So yeah, don't do that. And there we go. And there's the shine. 60 shines. We're halfway there. And Yoshi's so happy. Alright, now for the red coin to this place. Which can be, um... I, this is the third take of this, um, mission. This is the third take of this mission, so yeah. I, like, died twice with an epic fail. Which I probably should have kept that in, but I didn't know how long it was going to be, because I still have the 15 and a half minute time limit. So, yeah. And there we go, there's number one. Ah, uh, crap, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Okay. Uh, that's like Nintendo Capri Sun worthy burp. I'll try not to do those too often. Okay, there's number four. Make sure you time that jump just right to get down to get this one. Cause that one can be kind of tricky to get. And there's one up there for some reason. All right. And just come through to this thing. I guess you gotta land on it. There you go. Okay. I highly recommend just like spin jumping over there. To save some time. You really don't have to worry about the time that much in this level, but. In this mission, but. Yeah. And then there we are, number eight. So, as long as I don't fall, which, yeah, yeah, I didn't. And there we are, number 61. Only 59 more shines to get, so we're done. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you, 1UP Stories and Acts of Flame, for originally going to be on this, um, co-commentator. Uh, they're originally going to be co-commentators in this, but they weren't. Hopefully, actually, will be in the next one. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.